Howdy, my name is Cassandra File. And I'm Megan Rogers. And today we'll be talking about body plots and specifically a low pass filter body plot example. So what is a low pass filter? A low pass filter only passes signals below its cutoff frequency point. And this happens because at very high frequencies, the reactance of the capacitor becomes so low that it gives the effect of a short circuit condition on the output terminals, resulting in zero output. This happens at a reducing gradual rate, which we will see uh, later in the Bode plots and the examples later on. And as shown in the pictures to the right, uh, the top one is a passive low pass filter and the bottom is an active low pass filter. The difference is because the active low pass filter contains a op amp and an op amp needs to be powered by an outside voltage source. So hence it looks uh, active, op, uh, active low pass filter. And this table shows the uh, different conditions that the Bode plot undergoes so as shown in the transfer function below, the K, for example, is a constant. So we see up here in the table uh, for the K for the constant uh, plugged into the 20 log 10 to the K equation. It is just a straight line on the Bode plot and it accounts for a zero degrees phase. And the top portion is the uh, denoted as uh, uh, zeros for the numerator, and then for the bottom portion for the denominator, it is just as poles. And then, so for a Bode plot example today, this will be our example transfer function. So we see that the 100 is our k factor, and then s squared plus 5s plus 6 is our zeros, and then the bottom portion is our poles. So what we want to do is that we want to expand um, everything shown in the transfer function. So we expand uh, the top portion to be s plus 3 and then s plus 2. And then we divide out each constant inside uh, of the parentheses that are added to s. So we divide out the 3 so that we are left with s divided by 3 plus 1. And then we do the same thing for each one until we get to the ending portion where it'll be 100 times six divided by eight, where we reduce that down to 75. And then we are left with the others as well. And we'll see that later on, this, will, this is uh, the perfect conditions to use on for the Bode plot in order to get our magnitude function and our phase uh, function as well. This shows how to find the magnitude function or, or the magnitude equation for the transfer function. And so as seen on the top of the slide, 20 log of each section of that transfer function provides the values for the Bode plot. And so the first part would be 20 log of 75, which is the constant that was found in the transfer function. And then we do plus 20 log of s over 3 plus 1 plus 20 log of s over 2 plus 1. And those are both of the zeros of the transfer function. And then the poles would be minus 20 log of s. And we do minus because they're on the bottom of the fraction. And so they are subtracted. And then it would be 20 log of s over 2 plus 1 squared. And as seen in the second version, it's actually negative 40 log of s over 2 plus 1. And that's because you can bring the squared to the front of the log equation, and it will become 40. And then the last one is negative 20 log of s over 4 plus 1. And all of those ones that are being subtracted are the poles of the transfer function. And then we also have the phase equation, and we will not be plotting the phase diagram for this transfer function in the video, but this is just the equation for the transfer function. And so the for a constant, so for 75, the phase angle is zero. And so that is not included in the equation. And then we have tan inverse of s over three. 
and you do not put the plus one in the phase equation because it's not needed. And then it's plus one tan of negative one uh, s over two minus tan negative one of s minus two tan negative one of s over two because you can bring the squared to the front of the equation and it'll be times two and then minus tan negative one of s over four. And those, the ones that are subtracted are because they are the poles of the transfer function. So the first step in plotting the Bode plot is you plot the line of each of the separate parts of the transfer function. So this first part is 20 log of 75. And as seen in the earlier, the <laughs> magnitude of 20 log of 75 is a constant. And so it will be 37.5. And that line is plotted for the same value throughout the whole Bode plot. And the second line is 20 log of s over three plus one. And so this line will be zero up until three and at three it will rise 20 decibels per decade for the rest of the frequencies. And the third line is 20 log of s over two plus one. And that line will be zero until two and at two it will rise 20 decibels per decade for the rest of the frequencies. The next line is negative 20 log of s, and it's negative 20 because it is on the bottom of the transfer function. And so that line will be zero until one, and then it will decrease 20 decibels per decade for the rest of the frequencies. This line is negative 40 log of s over two plus one, and it's 40 because it was the s over two plus one squared. And so, that line is zero until two, and at two it decreases 40 decibels per decade for the rest of the frequencies. And the last line is negative 20 log of s over four plus one, and that line is zero until four, and it decreases negative 20 decibels per decade for the rest of the frequencies. And so to create the final Bode plot, you add all of the lines together for the whole graph. You get that final line. And you can see on the line that each of those little dots is a spot where the slope of the graph changes because it was a frequency where the slope changed in all of those lines. And so you get the final Bode plot and we just show each of the different slopes for these sections. It goes from zero decibels per decade to negative 20 to negative 40 to negative 20 to negative 40. And that's because of the different slopes for all of those lines we previously plotted. And this shows the final filter and that's a low pass filter because it accepts all of the frequencies that are lower and then attenuates all of the higher frequencies. Thanks and gig um.